We've said on the uh, press conference today that he feels like you know there's still room to grow for this receiver core. I mean, just how, how do you view the the group as a whole right now? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I think all those guys can can grow. I know in my room, just really everything. Uh, you know, blocking. Uh, unfortunately, catching um, and uh, you know playing faster. Uh, we still we showed a bunch of signs Saturday, um, seeing some stuff defensively that we've seen before that we we kind of started doing better. And so, kind of recognizing some stuff and running our stuff against the looks we've been seeing got better. That was that was encouraging, you know. But uh, yeah, blocking and catching, playing a little bit faster. That's those are probably the biggest things. Seeing Austin get nominated for the Campbell Trophy, what does that mean to you to have him have that success? Yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, that's. Uh, no, he he played really well um, Saturday. He blocked well. I mean, he's, you know, he's he's what you want to what you want to coach. Um, kind of always even keel, and you know what you're gonna get. And uh, he made some crucial blocks. I mean, he's a pretty tough kid. And then of course made some. Uh, explosives and that, that's something about explosive plays like just talking about it uh, you know he's not the most explosive player if you go time him and all the weight room stuff but if you're where you're supposed to be you can get 15 16 17 yard catches and so uh, you know when, you, when you're where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there that's that's what he does best what have you seen obviously some of you, some guys in your group so, you know Wally and Calvin have had some drops uh, Rara's had some uh, just simply lack of focus. Not, I mean, is, is there one common thing you're seeing, or inexperience? Or? I would, I would, I, I would say that. I mean, um, you know, we, we're continuing to work on as a team our practice habits. I think that's that's part of it. And and like I said, working hard, or excuse me, playing fast is part of it. Um, and we've been up and down. You know, you gotta, you can't just expect to turn it on the game. All of a sudden, that ball gets on you a little bit quicker. So that's why you got to practice as fast as possible, because uh, we don't have gamers. We don't care about that. Coach Leach doesn't. We don't have guys that just show up, and so um, nor are we good enough in my room to do that. So we've got to practice uh, a little bit faster, so it's not unusual in the game, and the ball's not up on you. Would you how did you think the guys reacted to that uh, first quarter? Obviously, you guys used more tempo. How, how did you feel about the results of that, and how they reacted to it? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good, and, and and honestly, it's for us. It's been more of it's more of a sense of urgency. I have to go fast if they're making us go fast, you know, as opposed to us just kind of talking about it. Um, you know, I think it's good for Will, and I think our, our guys kind of like it. But it kind of you kind of have to focus a little bit more. Right now, in our group, that's probably the, the best thing it does for us. I know we have some some guys like Austin and Jaden ahead of him, but where, where does Rufus sit? Is he one of those guys that kind of has to speak, get sped up a little bit? <laughs> yeah, and he's coming along. He's coming along. He's practiced well. And that's what we tell the guys. There's stuff we did in August that are still helping us now. Like, you can't just say, well, we lost, so none of this did that. And, and he's one of those guys. He's put a lot of reps in. And he's uh, he's very, very close to, to playing, too, uh, as well. As a success when Jaden and Austin are on the field together, I guess, what, what does it present when you have them both on the field? Yeah, um, and I think I think there's still uh, a, a good mix that we can get, whether it's a three, four, or five man rotation. But um, you know, some explosiveness, I guess, off the ball uh, with Wally, and then some more consistency with Austin. You know, but kind of like I was saying, you know, we just got to be better about be where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there. And as a group, we've been inconsistent doing that. Um, but. Uh, you know, yeah, two guys that have played, you know, it makes you, I guess, feel a little bit more comfortable, but um, it's kind of up, it's kind of a toss up right now in my group, kind of who's who's going to play more than other people. Going back, to the, going back to the drops, I mean, with some of the younger guys, I guess, how do you try to teach them that, you know, if they have one drop, it doesn't turn into a second one or third one, it doesn't linger throughout the rest of the game? Yeah, it's usually mental toughness, you know, um, we can't get down. Um, and I think in practice, we just got to keep emphasizing it. We catch a ton of balls in practice. Um, and so that's, that's got to show on Saturday. But more than anything, too, like because it's, it's unique we, because we catch so many balls in practice. I guess we, we have in our head they're going to keep coming. You know, you might not get a ball to you um, for a quarter. You know, I don't know. But then it's up on you, and you got to be ready. You know, there's four receivers on the field at the same time. So if we punt, and, you know, the H might not see one for a while. So when it gets to you, you better catch it. How much time in practice do you spend on blocking as a receiver group? Quite a bit, 
quite a bit. I always do it in pre-practice, and then we have a whole, eh, a period almost that uh, we do for blocking because, you know, a big part of it is us throwing screens. And then in the run game for my guys, it's it's pretty crucial. You talk about practicing faster. I mean, what, what, is that, what does that look like? I mean, are you just running hurry up in practice or like you're – Well, you know, for some of our guys, and I've, I've, I've done it, I've tried to get them to do it as much as I can, and we've gotten better is – uh, literally running faster, which I think has to do with uh, years ago, coach said it, you know, clear mind equals fast legs. And so um, just having confidence in the play you're going to run. Um, but uh, yeah, just running hard, practicing harder. And uh, that's why, you know, I think in my group, more guys are going to play, uh, whether it's to, you know, I don't want to say it's to motivate people. We're going to try to get the best guys in to, to play. But if you're not playing fast, you can't, you can't play. And some guys can do that five plays in a row, seven plays in a row. Some guys can only do it two plays in a row. So, um, you know, if you, if you play, if you can't play fast, I'm, I'm not going to play you. You talked about running faster. Have there been specific improvements in there, like 40 times or anything like that that you've seen? Yeah, no, I, I don't know, you know, and I don't, honestly, I don't, uh, I don't care. Um, and, and I get your question. I'm not, uh, you know, but snap to whistle is how fast you can play. You know, right now Austin's playing faster than anybody. He's probably the slowest guy in my group. So, um, Play speed and play strength is are huge, as opposed to you know all the other stuff. And he's good in the weight room and all that. But just how fast do you play? How strong do you play? And we got to get better at that. So, is that we, we talked a little bit ago, like about Jaden Wally and like the kind of inconsistencies in, in practice. Does that kind of go? Is that kind of go hand in hand with what you need to see from him? Just maybe playing faster in, in practice? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I mean it's just I, I joke with those guys. Or I tell those guys, you know, if you if you study all week for a test, Monday through Thursday, you're going to do better on Friday. So you better practice the right way. And, and I've told my guys that none of us, including me, are good enough to just kind of show up. And so, uh, which how they would think they are, I have no idea right now. But uh, yeah, no, it's an everyday deal. And it's still in the works with, with my group, I think. Clear mind, faster legs that, that you were talking about. I mean, is that where the repetition base kind of comes in and, and not thinking so much about the play? Absolutely. And that's at times where as a coach, you can get frustrated because we keep it pretty simple offensively, you know, and so, um, and, and some guys are young and whatever, but we don't have time to, you know, we, it's a good staff to, we can't be patient, right, in football in, in a good way. And so, um, yeah, they got to they gotta figure it out here pretty quick.